Hello, welcome to Writings from the Hills. My name is Lori. This week we are spotlighting a short book. and It is actually a collection of poems called Like Effect by Laura Tracy Bentley. And it is not a very long book, as I said. Um, it is 99 pages. So not even a, it's under 100 pages. Um, Bentley is actually a poet, fiction writer, and literary critic. She um, was born in Maryland, but she has lived most of her life in Huntington, West Virginia, so she's definitely a local author. And I am actually going to be reading a small poem called Over the Mountain. Across Route 219 at the Black Bear Restaurant, an outdoor band plays Rocky Top. Palm room scents the mountain air, luring a collared bear ever closer to his nightclub namesake. Like a feeder creek parting the underbrush, he stands in the shallows to see what he could see. Peering at race cars and downshifting semis with a sinister glow in the dark eyes, he bends down in the night's thicket. Sheltered by a towering locust, nodding daisies and blackberries, still red on the vine, the wilderness cradles him a while, but he will wake hungry. Here is another poem called As If Her Hand Were Not Made for Pencils. Her fist bending back upon itself, a yellow pencil, feeding up through the club fingers like a wooden cancer. If she were in Tahiti, she'd wade into the blue shallows, searching for sand dollars with her toes, diving beneath the tolling waves, to dig them free from the pearls. Can you hold the sea, I ask? She would answer with an open hand. These are just a couple of different poems from this collection called Lake Effect by Laura Tracy Bentley. Um, there are sections. Uh, part one is we, all, we Are All Strangers Here. Part two is Wade Into the Blue Shadows. And part three, Say Sky, is the third one and the last. If you are interested in requesting a copy and reading this collection of poems, please go to our website at www.brookslibrary.com or call any of our locations to request a copy. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.